I'm getting pulled from pillar to post as I'm all alone in transport and operations. Care size YouTube room should be finished and revealed. And we have a test of our infrastructure as we have a 300 meter concrete pool that needs to be finished in one day. I'm Daniel Nissas for weekly episode 97. I'm trying to squeeze in as many loads as I can. Did you come last time? And of course the answer to that was no. Now why did I go and open my big mouth? Two and a half inch pipe, how hard can it be? Tell them to put some membrane on the floor so I can have a shower, please, David. And it will only take 20 minutes, mate. That is the man I'm looking for, yes! A man say I was flapping. I'd have been dunking on, man, I'm telling you. Listen to me and listen to me good. I'm the boss. Show me the evidence. It's Monday morning. It's 5.26. I'm on the way to the yard. I want to be in when the lad's there in case they've got any questions or I've forgotten to do anything. I haven't heard anything about the train yet. So at the moment, I believe everything is on schedule and I believe I'm ready for the day and ready for the week. A couple of the lads making sure that all their mirrors are clean so they have full vision going over the wheel wash. So make sure they leave the yard clean. Both skip drivers are in. Both doing collections first this morning. That's why they got no skip on. The yard is a quiet and peaceful place for now. It can be a little bit dusty today and it's gonna be warm. So I am gonna put the sprinkler on. I'm not trying to do this without getting wet now. <laughs> Next thing you know, I catch my death first thing in the morning. Please and grab. How are we doing, mate? You all right? Let's see how Tarandit gets on around the sprinkler. See if this man is awake yet. If he isn't awake yet, he'll be awake now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely when your boss gets in and sets some obstacles for you first thing in the morning. I guess we're sharing water because when that's going off, that's calming down. Mm. The operator's turned up as well. Simon's just told me that we have 500 ton booked on that's going out today so far, and all the boys who are going out have left the yard. The battery on my handheld ran out. So here we are on the mobile. All the lorries that are in the yard have been parked down there out the way, just warming up the shovel. AI already in to collect. Yard is damped down, so we're not gonna be taking any dust onto the road. At the moment, working well. So the wagons that we offload here, we're gonna put in this bay over here. Last week, we moved the sand from here down so all the sand was together. So here, we'll probably get a couple of wagons into this bay and probably two wagons into that bay. And we have trains on Wednesday and, sorry, Tuesday and Wednesday also. Six fifty nine. Wayne up. There's new tire. There's new tire. Look at me talking into. Look at me talking into the mic like the mic's working. Those new tires are looking good. Into the body we go. Offload this key is to make sure that we give them the empty one as well. We don't give them the empty one, they try to charge us surcharge. The rear tire's got a slow puncture, so I pulled them out to fix it, so we just pumped it up for now. One. The office team aren't in yet, uh, they're getting at eight o'clock. It's um, quarter to eight and I've had uh, two grabs and a skip booking coming already and I thought I knew how to book them on but I don't know how to book them on the new system but what I did was hello Will uh, but what I did was I took the job down and I sent a message to the drivers and then I called them and I said look I've sent you a job and then when the team get in at 8 o'clock they'll book the job on the system and then they'll allocate it so it comes up on the tablets but I've told them the direction in which to go to so we don't lose any time 
I wish I'd have spent more time learning the system, but there aren't enough hours in the day. But that's far. What is going on? Famous last words before it all goes wrong. It's 11.43, um, uh, Julia's helping me a lot with the transport, she's booking the jobs on for me and then I'm trying to arrange them but I keep swapping everyone's jobs around, boy the boys are going to pray for Terry and Chimek to come back boy because I'm trying to squeeze in as many loads as I can to make sure we stay efficient. At the same time I'm trying to, um, these people behind this office, they are genuinely, they're genuine, just point this out, let me just, just just for clarity, I'm the boss, yeah? <laughs> They're making fun of me <laughs> when we're short-staffed and I'm under pressure and I'm trying to do this. These people are making fun of me. Anyway, the train has been successfully offloaded. Um, the uh, lads came in and they fixed a the puncture on the forklift. I'm chopping and changing all the jobs around and I'm already trying to look at what to put on for tomorrow. Um, but I'm trying to do it in the best way I can, but I'm still trying to get my head around the system. And Sinead is moaning because I didn't spend time to learn the system and put jobs on myself because Sinead thinks I should have no assistance and I should do it myself and I'm an inconvenience to everyone. As far as Sinead's concerned, my every breath is an insult. What we do, let's just take the footage of the last time when Sinead told off that guy. And when I, when I speak, I want you to take that footage and put it in with what I'm saying here. Sinead, how's things going? Are you here for camera? Is that what you want? Have I done anything wrong? Because you're making such a scene. So Sinead, do you want me to leave? And you're disrupting this whole office. Should I leave and take Will with me? No, no, he's not going nowhere with you. <laughs> <laughs> Downstairs, Ara's working on truck versus train. Will is working on the KSI edit, and Friday is working on weekly. And I want to congratulate Jay because Jay got married yesterday to his um, long term love. So we want to shout out Jay and congratulate him for that. Bro, did you film his wedding? No. <laughs> Time is uh, 4.07, a lot of the lads are just getting back to the yard now. We found some orders today that Terry had set up before he left. He set up an order where we're doing haulage all the way to East London tomorrow, which isn't our area. So I made a couple of phone calls and I managed to find us a return load. So when we're down in East London, we have a return load that's going to take us all the way to Heathrow. But there was an order, I'm not sure how, but I think Terry put it on the system, but he didn't action it. But a company called us and said, you're meant to be delivering 100 tonne of recycled shingle. So we checked the system, we found it, but it hadn't been authorised. So straight away, I diverted five drivers and each of them went and collected 20 tonne. Oh, see that diet food there. The boys got down there, five lorries pulled up outside <laughs> and the side turned around and said, we forgot to say that we didn't want it. The broker called us and chased it and said, where are you? And then when we got there, the site said, we didn't want it anymore, we forgot to say. And then the broker asked us if we could, um, take back the material and bring it back in a month when they need it. And of course the answer to that was no. Miraculously, when charges were associated with it, they managed to offload the material and the phone is popping. Hold on. I haven't had a chance to do anything video related or even pop my head into the video room. Um, the, all the lads are just um, refueling and I'm a bit lost and scattered and all over the place, so I'm going to try and eat something and then go over the list again and then go back through my emails and try and catch up with my emails. Your knife. Tuesday morning, 10 to 6. I'm in the yard. The lads are just getting in. The train is scheduled to come in in a little while. I've been assured we have an operator. We got someone coming in to try and fix AS17 CON. That leak. The whole day today, 
I have one eye on the concrete pour that we're doing tomorrow. Morning. Boys checking their lorries. Today, the concrete isn't ideal. We have one job first thing in the morning and we have three jobs starting at two o'clock. So we're having a little work around. Um, Ollie, morning. Ollie, because he's multi-talented and skilled, is um, taking out the baby grab. He's gonna do a delivery and then he's gonna do one muck away. And Taron is taking Ross's grab to Scania for the taco calibration. So everybody's busy, just doing bits. What's happening? Let me show you around. Good to see you. Good to have you back, mate. Thank you very much. Good to have you back. Mark is back. He used to work here previously and he had an opportunity. We wished him well. Um, it didn't entirely work out as he thought it would. Sometimes things don't. And we welcome him back with open arms. He's a good lad, good driver, comes to work every day. Has that baby grab loaded and sheeted, ready for Ollie. Um, it's not ideal, but behind uh, we got enough room to put the Type 1. However, we got 1,200 tonne of Type 1 going out today. And we've probably got about 1,400 tonne coming on the train, so it's not going to be on the deck long, uh, especially as people, uh, if it's 1,200 tonne, people are going to be loading throughout uh, while it's coming in. So, busy day. Aha! Dieseling up in the morning. So I make uh, what, what were you on? I didn't know 30%. Oh, okay. Diesel's running low, but we do have one delivery booked on today. Morning, George. Still got a problem with this lorry, and I, I, I don't know who to call. The automatic tail door isn't working. It's got these two air valves on the back, and I can't get my head around it or work it out, and I keep thinking tomorrow I'm going to sort it. But we've got so many um, holidays at the moment, it doesn't really matter. They're coming to fix that this morning, right. and then we're prob I'm probably going to start loading all of them today yeah. so I can see how much ballast there is, so I can see how much cement there is. And I want to fill it filled all with water so, so it'll fill up overnight. So when you get back from that, we'll see. We've, yeah. got, we've got three or four jobs starting at two o'clock, but a, pun a bunch of people look like they've forgotten to book work on. Right. So it could change, but we need to prepare. You right, Ollie? Yeah, all good, all good. Yeah, why is the lorry dead? Yeah, the ignition was dead. Oh, no. Uh, wrong key, man, like a janitor. It's in the most difficult place it could be. There she is. I don't want to jinx it now. But this morning's running relatively smoothly thus far. But I don't want to jinx it. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. I'm too late, I just said it. It's going relatively well. See, now why did I go and open my big mouth, man? Oh, this, I saw a big puddle and I thought, why is there a puddle here? I thought maybe some of the lads washed out and I'm like, no, that can't be that much of a big puddle. And I've gone over to the washer and the fitting is leaking. Now I need to work out if I'm gonna call the manufacturer or call a hose and fitting specialist. <laughs> if you don't answer, it means it's not out of bed, it's 20 past six. Bit late ringing me now. Oh, you're out the bed then. Hey, my friend, my good friend. When you were snoring for England, I was up and out shouting at driver saying, "Come on, my friends, we have to get to work. We have to earn O'Donovan some money." It's not O'Donovan anymore. It's O'Donovan now. O'Donovan, because yeah. you're selling all the lorries and you're going to buy a load of this broken down is. vans. Listen to me and listen to me good. Our townie isn't back yet. Oh, and God. I've got a lorry in the yard and the automatic tail door, it's got them air valves on the back. It's not yeah. working. And I, like, I, for the life of me, I don't know how to do these. You're sort of in the middle of nowhere, aren't you? In the middle of nowhere? How am I in the middle of nowhere? I'm, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah. Well, 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 my good friend, my good friend. No one has yards that far out of London. Unless you, want to, unless you don't want to be seen. Mate, you don't have any yards left. You sold it all. I'm oh, sorry, your sister sold it all. <laughs> Why did you answer the phone yesterday when I rang you? Do, do you know what? Right, okay, let me explain something. At the moment, Terry and Chimek away. I'm running transport and operations, and Julia is, and Shane and Simon, they're all helping me. 
but I'm running everything. You know, like at QPR, you know Jude the Cat? He's a mascot. He just walks around, like, saying stuff. That's kind of what you do. Like, I'm genuinely working here. You know what I mean? I was always the mascot here. He's got a yard out your way. He might have someone over your side. Really? They've got a yard in West London, somebody told me. All right, I'll try that now. The roll-on, roll-off, um, all the bins are, are blocked in so he doesn't have anything to do for an hour or two. So I really want this tipper back on the road. So I might get him to take this tipper to someone who can try and fix this auto tailgate. So tomorrow this lorry's available because we've got more people coming back from holiday. So hi, nice to see you. Turned up today, have you? I'm early, what are you talking about? <laughs> got us started. We are in full swing in here. Train's backing in. And we have one. Two, three, four, five, six. I think there's another one on the way, bridge. Seven lorries. You mind if we get the train back because <laughs> you're yeah. blocking the Coldbrook service from coming in. The train comes first. If you need to, you need to, mate. We had to back the train in and stop the lorries for a minute because it was causing a blockage on the line. Now we can open her up again. Um, just going through some normal um, transport issues. Maddie went to a job and there was no one at the job. He called the contact number, we called the office, we kept calling everyone. Called a lot of the people who are normally on the site, all of them said they were on holiday. Laurie's been sitting outside the job since seven o'clock, but we gave him till eight o'clock because that's when the site's meant to open. Uh, we get to 20 past eight, still no one's answering. We finally get hold of the site manager and it turns out that the company have given us the wrong postcode. They gave us NW9 and really the job's in SL7. So we have to charge for a cancelled load and we have to rework all of the work and had to take the work off the other grabs. And Maddie was in NW9, so I had to find the next closest job that Maddie could do uh, that was material away as opposed to a delivery. Another job, Mark, on his first day back, he's gone somewhere and they've loaded three of our tippers with the wrong material. So all of the those lorries had to uh, tip off again and then load up. Taron, took AS11 HGV to Scania and they said because we didn't get there at six o'clock on the dot they're going to keep the lorry for the day to do the taco calibration but Ross is away so the roll on roll off driver who was meant to take the tipper um, to go and get the air tail door fixed he took Terry's van and when he collected Taron from Scania brought him back and somebody else has come in and now they're trying to fix the air tail door. and we are waiting for the people to come to try and fix the, the Volvo volumetric AS17 CON. Luckily, I was able to have a call earlier um, about a share agreement we're working on and I have to print off some paperwork and send it away because I've done some signed documentation, but they want the original copies. And the lads all managed to load up this way. They're heading down to east. When they tip it, they're gonna go over to North Fleet and load, and they got loads to come back. That's the first day I'm trying that haulage. At the end of the day, Ben has to go to Scania with the um, with the Arctic because he's going in for MOT. They're going to keep it for three days. When you take the lorry uh, in for MOT, they don't give you a car. So AS11 uh, HGV that Taron dropped off and the other driver collected him. Ben is now going to bring back the grab at the end of the day um, when he drops off the Arctic. Maddie has to drop his grab at the end of the day at Scania for its six weekly check. And I've told Taron Deep that he has to drop his grab tomorrow and bring it back. We also have a train in the morning and I'm going to get Ollie when he comes back to stop preparing um, some of the concrete lorries and we're going to assess how much material we've got. It's going well in the other yard. Material is flying out the gate as it comes off 
the train and we have run out of 12 yard skips so at the moment we're going to sites we're taking 12 yard skips and we're going to the tip and we're tipping it and then we're returning it to the clients i don't fancy buying any more 12 yard skips at the moment i'm not going to lie because there's times when i'm looking at 15 of them in the yard and now there's it's either feast or famine so at the moment we're just going to have to make good with what we've got will has done an edit of the ksi video what he wants me to watch on this wall we're going to have a lamborghini wallpaper but i have no idea when i'm going to have time if i wait till six o'clock today i'm probably going to be completely brain dead maybe i'll train and then try and watch it after <sighs> okay all right come on. All right, all right, all right. <sighs> the tail doors um now working but there's a there's an air leak coming from the front and the back of the lorry and there's an air leak coming from the front here so i've called out i can't send the lorry on the road like that so i've called out scan your assistance to come and sort this air leak out but at the back of the lorry um, there's also an air leak on the ram. I believe this, something's wrong with the cylinder. So I've ordered two full kits of um, new rams. Yes, that is the man I'm looking for. Yes, yes, that is the man I'm looking for. You are the man that I'm looking for. Morning. <laughs> Morning. Just here, like in it, like do a left here. So we've got these. Did you come last time? No, 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 no. Somebody tried to do a quick fix on it. Yeah. It worked for a day and then it started leaking again. Right. So we got a big job tomorrow, so we can't be dropping oil all over the road. Yeah, yeah, and it leaks so badly that it will go through a whole hydraulic tank very quickly. Right, that's bad. Yeah, there. And then we've got vibrators here. and scan you out to look at this. Once they sort the air leak at the front and the spares come, then I'll change the ones on the back. But I can't let a look, if you can hear the air leak. But that could be a problem with the tipping doors. It could be them um, exhausting and pushing air back this way. And then this, uh, it could be anything. Hello, hi, I'm calling from Asheville. A-S-H-V-I-L-L-E. We have a lorry in the yard with an air leak so bad that the lorry can't go out. Thank you. I had a phone call a minute ago of a driver, so he's meant to take in a, and he said... I think they loaded me with the wrong material. They loaded me with clean hardcore. And I was like, right. I was like, well, what were you doing while they were loading? And he was on his phone, just not paying attention, and then drove out of the site. And I don't know how, I think another driver who's behind him told him that he's not loaded with what he's supposed to be loading with. I understand that on the sites you're not meant to get out, or some sites you're not meant to get out of the cab. But when you're driving, when you're transporting things from A to B, you are responsible for what's in that lorry. You cannot go to a construction site, look at your phone the entire time and drive straight out the site, not knowing what you've been loaded with, what you've taken and think that it's their responsibility, my responsibility and everyone else's responsibility. You can't do that. You need to look at what's going on. And now he has to go back and tip it. And now we've dropped a job with someone else and we're losing money. It is crucial that people pay attention. I've missed a call to what they're doing and remain vigilant. Taryn is saying that he can't see the jobs, but I did put the jobs on for him. Welcome to Gig Gaspoy. I beg to say, uh, who doesn't have caller waiting in this day and age, really? Might as well just pack it in and not have a phone altogether. Welcome to Gig Gaspoy. God, it's brutal. Welcome to Gig Gaspoy's mail. Mark? How are we doing? Yes, she is. But <laughs> you're not going to believe me if I tell you this. She's gone to the post office. So I'll talk to her and I'll call you back. Oh. I didn't give him the job. So we've got the uh, KSI green screen, but the brackets were sent separate. The security guard gave the brackets for the green screen to one of our drivers. They put it in the lorry. It's missing. 
How could it be missing? Why is this so difficult? It's just a delivery, mate. If it was your Amazon delivery at your house, you would soon find it from the security hut. They've now lost the bracket and we can't hang the green screen. This is brutal. Okay, yeah, okay. He, he can. How many can he take today? Ollie? Um, you know the drop you just left? Yep. He's asked for another one. Yeah, no, sorry, he's asked for an, uh, it depends how much, I think it's another one or two. Ask him if Ollie can come now. Uh, can, can he do one now? To the yeah, I'll put it across to the tablet now. Right, so somebody's called. Um, Ollie's just left a, do a, jo a dob, you know. Ollie's just left a job. Oh, the staff are laughing at me. Ollie just left a job in the baby grab and he's coming to the yard and he's going to park up and he's about to do something else. But the client who where he just left called and said, can we have another two tomorrow? So I've moved the work round and the client said he could take it today. So Ollie's going to go straight back to the job and get the two loads done today because tomorrow, um, Ollie won't be able to do any of the baby grab work because he'll be in a concrete lorry. You forgot to take payment? Yeah. Fam, that's the most important thing. I know, that's very what important. You're just, what you're just doing them, them, them free jobs there, yeah? So I don't need to do that, you're putting it on, yeah? All right, mate. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Okay, we didn't get an answer. All the concrete lorries have been loaded. We're just waiting for our delivery of cement now. By my calculations, we should be just beneath um, 20 tonnes, which means we could take a full load. Water's on. Materials on, so we're all good. Um, we did the work to East London today, but we loaded in the mor we loaded in the morning. So what I've done, I stopped the boys early, and I sent them all to load that material on this evening. So we're looking to hit East London for seven. So before uh, we hit East London about half eight, nine, because we went and did something before. But now we're looking to hit it. We're looking to hit it much earlier so we can get more work done. We're going to do a couple loads down there. But my return loads, what I had yesterday, my return loads have been cancelled. So I'm kind of scratching around, calling people, asking if we can get some return loads. I need six. I need to get six lorries from East London back up here. I want paid work. How are we doing, Chris? Yeah, I'll take that. Yes, mate. I've got some work now taking me from East London, exactly where I'll be taking us to, not, not here, but taking us to Guildford. And then from Guildford, I'm going to find something to bring us back here. I'm going to find it. It's 2.58. I guarantee you I'll find it. I need to eat as well at some point. Bad news on the volumetric. They did all they could, but what's happened is the block is kind of warped. They said it must have got really hot at some point and it kind of twisted and warped. So it's a bit of a problem. So a brand new unit is like six grand. So what we're going to try and do is get a refurbished unit. So they're refurbishing a unit now, then they're going to bring it and swap it. Hopefully they've done what they can to get us out of stuck tomorrow. But, um, and we've taken some pads as well, some in case there is a leak, so we can put pads down. Which phone is ringing? Jules? It's screed, it's not concrete, it's screed. Okay, fine, thank you. Thanks, bye. Oh man, there's a lot going on. And as if like clockwork, the cement delivery has arrived. They have a credit of mine sat on the system that they haven't removed, that, that they haven't sort they tell them to go and check, oh, but I owe them money, they owe me money. Because I had an account and then I didn't have one and I returned something and they didn't want to give me a refund, they have my money on account which they're supposed to put against it. Thanks, boy. The disrespect. Pay the money after you owe me money. Anyway, sorry. So you want yeah. him to go whoever he's, he's had to with. Tell him there's two people contacting you, yeah. this is who they are, you need to speak to them. It's not our responsibility. Yeah. We are not approaching tenants. This is the estate agent's details. You deal with it. We are, that's not our job. Okay. That's not our job. You deal with it, and these are the two companies that are speaking to me. Please, uh, okay. you deal with it, yeah? Okay. They said about this, this insurance that they want to come and lay down their, kind of their, what they, what they, uh, the, oh, not offer, but what, what they want to, what they want to bring to the table. So I don't really know what to do with them. Tell them I spoke to their boss. I know what they want to bring to the table but I need to see results. I don't want talk. I don't want to know what you're going to do. I want to see the evidence. I want to see hard copies of what you are going to do and what we are offering me. No more kind words, no more buzzwords. Show me the evidence. These guys, man, who come and take it. Unbelievable. Thank you, Vasha. 
It's 4.35. I'm now going to try and eat my lunch. I'm on a boring one again. Salad, rice and chicken. I'm exhausted. But guess what? I'm still getting gym and I'm still going to train. Six kilos down. Probably ten more to go. If I'm going to open up my mouth and say something and point the finger at someone, then I have to be able to point the finger at someone else or myself. So earlier, I was moaning about the brackets for KSIs. Where are they? How hard can it be? Why is it so hard to get anything done? It turns out the delivery was found in the place where the deliveries are left, where I said to check two days ago in the first place. We're slowly, slowly, painfully getting there. <laughs> it's Wednesday and Hello. you're in your and you're in your bed. It's Wednesday and I'm in the car and I'm late. <laughs> what are you doing? I thought you I thought you was in the yard at half five. It's quarter to six. Yeah, I'm late this morning. Oh, oh yeah, really? It's like a five minute shut eye and it lasted longer than five minutes. So we actually bought the dog, so then that was another fifteen to 20 minutes and I got caught at every set of tra red traffic lights and it's Wednesday morning and I'm late for the yard. Really? Okay, fine. I just... It seems a bit strange that you said that you were in there every day before R5 and the first... Whoa, 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 whoa. Why did you ring me yesterday morning? Why did you ring me Monday morning? Your anger incriminates you further. <laughs> so it does. You remember when, well, you're generally talking nonsense, so it's difficult to pinpoint a time when you're talking nonsense. But when you were talking nonsense about my lo about my lorry being dirty on the stand at the show, my friends at TH White, they think I wasn't happy because they didn't clean the lorry. For me, the lorry was immaculate. And my friends at TH White are thinking that, and my friends at TH White are thinking that I'm jumping on it and I'm saying things the lorry weren't clean when really. You're leading me down the garden path and I just walked down the path and kicked the gate off. When, when, when really I had no problem at all with my, with, with my good friends at TH White's that I've known for many years that have helped me out. And then you think it's hilarious that you were talking rubbish <laughs> and, how, and how they think that I'm talking rubbish about them when you were just talking rubbish. That's made my day now. There's no disrespect. They obviously don't listen to your videos, then, so I'm very upset over that. They seem to think that I, that I wasn't happy with them when I'm always happy with them. They got some good, good, good lads there. They come and fix my crane when it went through the door of the lorry. <laughs> 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 Two drivers on holiday still. Yeah. Load of drivers on holiday. Work ain't great this weather, is it? This whole bit of holiday time. Yeah, no, it's not great, mate. I just wanted to tell you that you start talking garbage, making jokes, and my pals at TH White think I'm, <laughs> think I'm coating them off. I just wanted to set it straight. There's only banter, tell them. There's only banter between me and you, because I tell them that I am the only friend you have in this job. You Repeat can... after me. Michael is the only friend I have in this job. Michael is the only friend I have in this job. And there's some white diesel going in the white diesel tank for the, for the machines to put in the tank later on. I oh, know, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking, isn't it? Oh, oh, it's... So how much does that big thing burn a day? The LA60. Yeah. You'd be surprised, yeah? It's not that bad. When it's full of fuel, with the bucket on and it's grabbing material, it probably we it weighs about 70 tonne. Savage, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's not that bad, mate. Do you remember when you said you were going to come to the yard? I'm going to do this and do that and do a day's work and show you where you're going wrong. I know everything in this job. I was at this job in 1822 and I did this <laughs> and my father's 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 before my father. You still ain't turned up. Yeah, but we haven't got time. We've got so many depots and we're such a big concern. <laughs> yeah. I've got to help everybody. How did you get on with the tailboard yesterday? I called Abba and I had to order... I had to order more that, that came in, but I know what the problem was. Oh, Morning, George. George. George don't sound happy. George is all right. Is he? He's moved the lorry. He was doing his checks when I got in. He wants to start with me, but I'm going to no lorry for him in a minute. Really? you got no lorry for him in a minute. Mm. Why don't you put him in mm. one of those um, KD, I mean, Kaylee plant sweepers? 
because we ain't got no sweet for work it's too dry really need some rain i definitely don't want any rain mate well i need rain rain is bad for business mate and i need rain so we're mm. in a bad way well N neither of us really get what we want, so so it's probably going to snow. Yeah. <laughs> I know you were late in, so I'll let you make I'll let you make a yeah. start. Yeah, I'll let you make a yeah, start I'm on your make day because you're late. Now. I've got, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll get these lorries moving, get them rolling. Right, we'll speak soon, Daniel. All right, later. Arrived in the yard, and oh, let me try something. Concrete lorries will be leaving any second to go and do the job. Everyone's loaded. Um, just drivers doing checks, making sure that all their mirrors are clear. I had a text message last night at half ten saying that the train driver was ill, so we have no train today, the train is cancelled. But with the amount of concrete lorries going in and out and the amount of lorries coming in to take uh, Type 1, we're going to be flat out busy. I'm going to open up the offices, have a walk around the yard, see if anyone's struggling with anything to get everybody out the gate so we've got as much uh, space as possible and we can make the best start to the day. That's about it for now. I don't really like a certain man of late. So I don't, I'm not really rating it. So we're just waiting for everyone to get here so I can get all the lorries out. Trouble is some of the boys are working down in East London today. There's like a 15 minute window to leave the yard and to beat the traffic. So I need them to tip off the load in East London about half seven. Job tip, job tip, job tip. But you tip that other load at half seven, you could start working on the other load between eight and 12, and then go and grab the return load at one, and you're back up this way for two o'clock, and you've done a day's work down there, and you can pinch a, uh, a crafty load here and there. But then again, anything can happen. You get a puncher, um, there could be an accident, on the world's biggest car park, the M Score 5. I've done everything I can, and all these lorries are out the gate at 20 past six. Now it's down to the elements. concrete lorry went back to the job and after one meter of concrete it broke down again the engineers in Gloucestershire the engineers left Gloucestershire it's going to take him two hours to get here that lorry is going in for MOT tomorrow so the driver is going to bring it back blast it off and start to clean it for MOT hopefully by that time the engineer is here then he can try and fix it and we can at least try to do a couple of loads of concrete in it We've got another lorry that's in a tip, broke down, blocking everyone from getting in and out. So they're going to drag it out. I've called Scania um, Assist, and they're going out to it. The engine's on, but he's got no reverse, he's got no forward. We're at QPR trying to get the toilets finished, and the cubicles are meant to be delivered to site. And of course, they deliver the cubicles here. Now David has to get the van, drive to here, and take it and bring it back there. We have Maddie on a job where they booked clean hardcore away and as you can see by this picture that is not clean hardcore then nobody answered the phone then julia had to get hold of them to change the order um well so yes uh, down in east london some of the lads they may have to stop because where we're tipping the wash plant is down and they're trying to get it back up and one of the drivers who down there his easy sheet stopped working but luckily the firm down there sent out their fitter to help him and we managed to get the easy sheet working again and all this by 11.14. These are the problems that we are facing and overcoming. Could have a problem here. Uh, the cement has arrived, but one lorry wasn't capable of reloading and reloading. I calculated we'd be able to take the cement, but my calculations may be out by, if he would have done three loads, 
free free. My calculation may be out by about nine ton, ten ton. Hello, mate. Do you need help with something? No, no, just quick go to the that right here. Yeah, give us as much time as you can. <laughs> Let's go and have a look at how much cement we got. We've got 30 ton in there. And it's a 50 ton silo, just over a 50 ton silo. We've got 30 ton in there. And it's a 50 ton silo. And he's got 30 ton on there. Ollie, have you loaded cement? Yeah. What is going on? Is that what it is, yeah? That's it, yeah, sorry. We basically need all of them to come back again. We need an hour. How long have we got you for, mate? It says up to half eleven. I need three lorries to take loads. They're, they're coming back. They'll all be back in about, one in about 15 minutes, yeah, that's fine. one in about half hour, and one in 45 minutes, and then probably the first one in 15 minutes, he'll be back in an hour. But I've, I've got too much on. You can't offload all you've got. You can start if you want. Yeah, yeah I will do, because that's why I left space anyway, so I can still yeah. pump while they're... What, yeah, yeah, please. Last... I need that. I need that whole load. Yeah, yeah. Material-wise, we're good. Let's go and check the water. Well, I don't know how much is in there, but it's filling. <laughs> it's definitely still filling. How fast we don't know, but it's definitely still filling. I just realised that Ollie's put a hose pipe in this because the water has run out already. Yeah, we got a problem on our ends. The lorry that is not going out, uh, what we're going to have to do is pull Ollie up alongside next to him. We're going to have to take his water and put it into Ollie so Ollie can get back to the job. We're falling behind on the concrete job because of the water. Got the cement, got the material. This lorry, the technicians managed to fix something on it. But to be honest, what he's fixed is only going to get us out of stock for today and make sure we don't let the client down, which we're trying not to do. The lorry just broken down, Scania is still with it. The wash plant on the other job is down, so the boys are grabbing a load and they're coming back up this way. And I'm looking at the list for tomorrow already, trying to map it out so I know what to tell people to load at the end of the day for tomorrow morning. I can't leave it any later. Time is 1.13. You couldn't make this up. What do you mean, full? What are you doing, man? This is... F How can this be happening now? Try. Try. Go on. Here you go. Yes! <laughs> yes! Of all the things to happen on top of everything, everybody comes back and a diesel pump shuts down. Imagine that, of all the times, in 40 degree heat, the diesel pump sh shuts down. Um, I need to say thank you to Quattro, to Ollie and Steve, because I called them and I said, lads, I'm completely stuck. I'm not getting enough water. Can you help me? And the lads let us fill up in Quattro and it helped us get that bit more out. What doesn't help is the fact that the cement lorry is here and um, we don't have enough space in, in, the, in, the, in the silo to take it. So I planned it as best I could. We have material, but this issue with the water, people started taking an hour to fill up with water. The issue with the water and the breakdown earlier absolutely killed us. So something I need to take on from this, if we want to do pours over 200 meters, I need to get a bigger water tank or get a bigger feed of water coming in because we're working on a two and a half inch pipe, but the diesel's working now. The boys have gone to do a few loads. I'm not sure what the total is of concrete we've done. I don't like saying that we did our best. I don't like saying that because that means that you, you didn't do what you were meant to do. It doesn't matter what your best is, you're meant to do the job. And, I, and to be honest, we haven't delivered today, man. But, um, as well, uh, the uh, lorry over there, the tipper, they were changing the tire and it banged off uh, the back of the lorry and it broke the pipe that was going into the, um, the cylinders were open and closed the tail locking. But because I ordered um, complete kits uh, for the lorry, what you saw me talking about yesterday, we had a complete kit and we had the fit in and now Simon's gonna try and put that fit in on and make sure that lorry can go out tomorrow. Let's see. In the end, on the concrete job, um, they said to stop. The lad said they'd continue, but 
said to stop. We um, we offloaded in total two, I think two hundred and twenty odd meters. Um, not what we meant to do. We meant to do three hundred. Um, luckily for us, uh, they're doing foundations, so they can actually section off areas, and they're able to do a clean cut and start another area and finish the job tomorrow. Um, Quattro actually let us go and and uh, fill up with water again, um, which means that overnight our tank will fill and we're booked for concrete fully tomorrow again, but one of the, the, the faulty Volvo one is actually going for MOT tomorrow. Because I was giving that so much attention, I, I missed and didn't like map out the tippers properly. So now I'm spending some time on the tippers, but the... Hi, Jules. Hold on. Sorry, Jules. One sec. Come in. I'm coming. George. Uh, well, the customer is, is doesn't let me go. He insists to fin finish the job. So what do you mean they won't let you go? Because he's called his boss and he said, no, 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 we have to finish today because no time out of the day. Tell them to put some membrane on the floor and offload that concrete onto the floor. They're taking liberties. I just had a conversation. Um, we went to a job. And they said, we've got another site around the corner. Quickly go around there. We're not ready. Then we went back to the other site and they weren't ready. Then after saying that they don't want to pump, they don't have a wheelbarrow. And we must wait while they put the concrete into a digger bucket. And they don't want to put, put down membrane and put the concrete on the membrane. The lorry has to sit there and wait. And, and then they're telling the driver that he's not allowed to leave but they don't want to pay waiting time, they don't want to pay for a pump, and it will only take 20 minutes, mate. The driver has been down there pouring five meters for four hours. And then if I charge waiting time, I'm out of order, because I should just leave them all day, all day, just pay the driver all day, just buy a lorry, just burn the diesel for free, load on the material, the cement, that's free. And we've obviously got an abundant supply of water and a bunch of beavers making a dam in here so we never run out of water again. Anyway, while I was doing all that, I didn't concentrate on the tippers. Now we can't go where we went today, so I'm trying to find a new location to go, and I believe I have somewhere, but I have two, sorry, I have two places, but both of them, we're gonna send a test load. So we're gonna send the boys down early, load one of each, check the test load, have conversations. How much is it gonna be to tip? How do you like it? Do you like it? Yes, how much? Mm. Do you like it? No, okay, we'll go back here. So we're gonna work out from that where to tip it. I've been transparent with everyone. I've told both people where I was going before, just so there can be no one saying, right, you think you're smart? This, that, the other, and the phone's ringing. Sai? How you doing, you all right? Tell me. Thursday, I'm in the car. The Duckers has removed your head, man. The Duckers has returned. I've gone to collect Terry um, from his house because he left his van at work. And on the way there, I'm going to give him back his phone because that incessant thing just keep ringing the whole time <laughs> and update him on exactly what's what and how the baddest man in transport has just the way I've just put the jobs together lately and how I epically failed on our 300 meter pour yesterday and the reasons for it. Of course, Terry will say that he would have completed the pour. Time for a download and hopefully by the time we get in, Terry is up to speed and we can carry on. We're in the yard, um, full download complete. Bruv, not like that, but get closer on it. You, you're not in frame. <laughs> and um, Terry is now up to speed. The operator has arrived to offload the train. All the lads are out, uh, apart from just a few of the concrete lorries uh, which are loading. Um, it's going to be a good day. I told Terry my problems and Terry told me his first world problems that he managed to get sunburn. Don't we all feel sorry for Terry that he got sunburn? Uh, where'd, you, where'd you burn? On my back. On his back, on his back. And how was your time off? It was nice. It was nice, yeah? It was nice. And now next week you're going for a hip replacement? Yeah. Can you imagine the way this man is ducking? Are you coming basketball on Sunday? Yeah. The man's got time to go basketball though. He can't come work, but he's got time for basketball. It's on a Sunday though as well, isn't it? It's on a Sunday, bruv. That's a working day, man. You should be 
Look how many Sundays I've given you off, man, since you've been working it. <laughs> no, we just seen the shunter arrive. Uh, time to open up the offices. Let the day begin. Terry, I'm going to show you about TV. I'll just do a little pan of the off of the yard there. Come, come closer, Sai. Si. Come closer, oh, Tell. Come here. Yeah. So, Simon's here. Yeah. <laughs> Terry's still here. He ain't got out. We start talking about the holiday, and Terry's like, it's Terry's first holiday with Cora, where Cora can walk. And he kept saying, Cora's walking off. She's running off. You've got to follow her around. You don't know. Everyone's got to watch her. You don't know what direction she's going in. And I said to Terry, that's exactly how I feel when you go on holiday. <laughs> I know you'll be all right, but I don't know where you are. And I don't know when you'll be back. And if I don't watch you, you're going to run off at any opportunity. Isn't it, Tell? That's, that's what it is, Tell. That's what it is. She said everybody was just watching Cora because they know she could be on the slide. She could be here. She... You got any footage of that for me to put in here and exploit? Do you? Yeah. <laughs> you got any footage? If you've got some footage, we've got to put it in of her going down the slide and all that. Terry, Terry said, yeah, he had to watch her the whole day. That's how I feel with Terry. What did you say just now about when she was on the... Um, yeah, she'd be doing something and then she said, no, I want to go on the slide. And she'd go there. Do you know what they say? What's in the cat is in the kitten. I wonder where Cora got all that from, running off in different directions, going to do whatever she wants and then just disappearing like Terry's done, like he's doing next week as well. You should bring her to the yard, bruv. I keep telling you. We think she'll love it here too. Yeah, she'll love it here too, bruv. You can watch what she's doing, I'll watch what you're doing. <laughs> oh, man. Now we're going to do some work. And here we observe a creature returning to its natural and most comfortable habitat. You can see the joy on his face as he returns from his pilgrimage across the globe. I don't think I have the vocabulary to express the joy that I feel coming from the top of those stairs. Terry, you're hiding your happiness like really well. Now you know how much work I do, I think you should discuss that pay rise. How much work? Bruv! Hey, uh, listen. This man's been doing this. No, I don't say stupid things and walk off. Train is backed in on time today. Uh, we've already got people coming in loading. We've only got um, 500 tonne going out today. It's a little bit, we're not too busy, we can easily handle that. We are quite busy on concrete again today. We're gonna finish the work from yesterday. About uh, 80 meters to do there, plus about four or five other jobs. One of the Volvo lorries is in Scania, so we've got four lorries out. And um, two of the lads who are normally in concrete lorries are not out in concrete lorries today, but we've got tipper drivers in them going to site. We have other concrete drivers there who will um, operate the equipment on the back and get it offloaded. Need to go and check stock now, a fuel, add blue, and not cement. I will not be checking the stock of cement, but what I really should check is water. But what can I do about that? It's completely out of my power. You there? Yeah, but I mean, yeah, I, mean, I called you, I'm here, yeah. Uh, yeah, but no, you go silent on me, you get scared, did not you? you? Why know? would I get scared? It's you and your sticker, mate. This means war now. You've picked on the O'Donovan clan. How did I? You've picked war on the Irish community in England, yeah? Hold on a minute. You were calling out the sticker man. The geezer replies once, and I've called on war with the Irish community. I'm actually very tight yeah, with the Irish community. Clan, I'm not yeah, at war with. We're coming down out of the mountains and everything. To get up, and get down to the sticker man place. You're coming out the map. What is that? The mountain of crush. Uh, the mountain of type one. You got left in the yard. What you're not selling? What no, no, mountain no, 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 are you no, no, coming no, no, down? The mountain, the mountain in, in West Cork. We're coming to get you. Mate, you were born in England. Yeah, that's mate, That's another story for another day. He stuck up pictures of ones that were all the same car with different. Colours on them. I could do that. <laughs> really? I've got a gang of boys in the backyard. I've got them training as we speak. They're running up and down the Type Two, <laughs> even though we haven't got a lot of Type Two here. But uh, but but those boys, they're not they're not from West Cork. Then you said the boys were coming from West Cork. No, they can't afford to travel over this. Place. 
too expensive in August for travel, so I'm going to have to leave them there. Anyway, did you make it out to bed today to get to work? I did. I was a little bit late, but we were still here by 10 to 6 uh, on parade. So you were late again? Tidy, you ready for going? So you were late again? No, I couldn't sleep last night. You couldn't sleep? No, not when you showed the pictures of all the same car with different stickers on it. Did you say that Terry sent you a CV? Yeah. And what, is, what you say, Terry was looking for a job, was he? He sent me his CV, but there was only two lines on it. He said you sent you a CV, but your CV only had two lines on it. What did the two lines yeah, say? My, the two lines said, must try harder at school. Isn't that one line? Possibly one line, yeah, but it looked like two the way he wrote it. Yeah. <laughs> I know you've already offloaded free trains in your several depots today, but we got a train in, we got to sort out. And there he is, gone. <laughs> the man, the legend, the myth. They need to know that prices may change with some products. The prices may go up. Yeah, some, like the CF, electrical supplier. We got a letter two days ago. No way. I think they put in four and a half or something. Four and a half percent. I got a question for you. What's your experience with materials and plasterboard and board in Europe? Do we have any experience? Do you know where we can get this from? In Europe? Yeah. I'm thinking about buying two curtain siders and the lorries here, send one truck, bring back insulation. One truck, go back, bring back board. Send the truck back and just bring, start bringing stuff here. We cannot get through this job halfway and say, your house ain't gonna be finished because we can't get hold of the remote we finish. We can't do that. Cement is not a problem. If the worst happens with cement, I'll just mm -hmm. order a tanker or I'll order a ton and a half bags. You just need folks tenants. Aggregates aren't a problem outside. Yeah. <laughs> Microwave skips is not a problem. It's just the standard, basic building materials and screed not a problem if we do it but like it's just would you expect some pandemic to come again who knows what's going to happen mm. david look what's happened this week what happened last week we're in a completely different place like two weeks ago it was, it was panic and then now everyone's settled like I, all i need to know we just need to be prepared what else do we need to update on qpr you guys at qpr needs help with electrical side so he's mm. going to be the Half a day to probably tomorrow and Saturday. Robert Tyler is coming back from holiday on Monday. So oh, good. So he can start painting yeah, over there. Yeah. I've got bare work to do in the yard for Bartek before he goes anywhere. Okay. But okay. But what about my house, man? Your my house. shower. Yeah, your shower. It's waiting there. I ordered it. You know, in what about my shower, what man? What I'm saying is like, you don't. We need some job which will bring the money in, yeah? So if I say four weeks, yeah. it gives time to finish off the all loose ends, thing, yeah. to do my house as well, yeah. so I can have a shower, please, David, at some point, if yeah. that's all right with you, yeah? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gives me time to organize containers. Yes. Um, look at the, uh, you know, toilets and so on and yeah. so on. Yeah, fine, cool. A couple of days now, well, at least a week now, I haven't been able to sit down with Vesha and David. Finally, we have, I have a meeting at 12 o'clock which fortunately, because Terry's back, I can go to the meeting. Um, hopefully we'll have even more strength back in the office because Chimek will be back next week, but then Terry goes for his hip on Thursday. Oh, is he? Yes, which yeah. is further inconvenience. And you know how I feel about inconvenience, Vesha. We all do. Yes, <laughs> we all do, <laughs> correct, right. Uh... Friday morning, I'm in the yard. Uh, I got here a bit later today, quarter past six. And I'm not gonna lie, when I got in at quarter past six, I don't think that some of the lads thought I was going to be in. And what I saw in the yard, I really didn't like, because they weren't behaving like that when they knew I was going to be here every day. Not all the lads in the yard, not all of them, just one or two. But now they're out the gate. I can see Aggregate Industries, they're um, loading up. Uh, no train today. Uh, the lads are loading up the concrete lorries. They weren't able to load it last night because uh, the other lads all got back late. I got the bug a bit again. You know, running lorries, like running lorries is like the original hustle. Like it's like, if you like logistics and you like the ducking and diving, like lorries is just, it's just the way forward, you know. Grab a load here, where's he gonna go? Uh, negotiate a rate, tip it here, I'm down here, who's got a load for me? Grab that load, tip it here, who's got a load here? Don't do that, leave that load on all day, trying to make as much as you can out of a vehicle, ducking, diving, slipping, sliding. So Terry's taken back over. Now, it's hard to know what to do, because obviously Terry's in control of it, but if I get involved too much, um, it looks like I'm, you know, 
overshadowing him or undermining him. So I'm just watching from afar. The worst thing when you're really busy working somewhere is your boss going over you going, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? But then at the same time, if I completely leave him to it, I'm not supporting him and I don't. Yes, Lucas, I kind of have to judge it and ask, am I needed, am I not? But I still um, need to keep an eye on transport because next Thursday, Terry's um, going away and Chimek is going to run transport, but Chimek is new. We now have Will down at QPR. I didn't have time to go and I'm happy to report that the safe standing area is complete. And we have continued with our work and the toilets will be complete for the game on Tuesday evening. gonna go up to my office continue to try and catch up on emails and then I'm gonna do a watch through of weekly episode 96 I think uh, with Dan Friday and then I'm back on the road and today at the end of the day I am revealing KSI's YouTube room to him will he like it will he not will we be done will we not jeopardy and a storyline that's what we do at Asheville we tell we document and tell stories a cement delivery has turned up. AI, a fly out today, boy. They've got all the Arctics coming in here. Uh, we just had an order come through. Um, in the beginning of next week, we've got 3,000 tonne going out in the, in, the past few, in the first few days. AI called me, said, is that all right? I said, what's well, light work? We can do that by lunchtime. Not maybe in one day, but we will get it done relatively easily. The yard's very busy. And I'm going to grab some lunch now even though it's earlier than I meant to. It's gonna break my fast early because we've got to go down to KSI's so we can hand over to him. Voice over, voice over. We removed the existing plasterboard ceiling. We did the floor at this point to protect it. Now sanding down the floor is very dusty work. So the floor was done, then we covered the floor to protect it because we'd be walk, no, I said protect it again, didn't I? You ready? This is for the main video. Whoa! It's Saturday morning and I'm arriving at the yard. Nah, nah, this man is trying to pull out the yard. Nah, as I'm, as I'm arriving, this man is trying to leave. As I arrive, turn the radio down, copyright, copyright. Well, I know the man who made the tune, it'll be, be nice. Uh, nah, and imagine that, the man's listening to some different love songs <laughs> as he's wearing his Kojak sunglasses. Hey, where are you going, man? How are you just dusting? We just started. You might have just started. <laughs> now, nah, how do I arrive and this man's leaving? What's going on? Nothing, I'll go to the shop get some milk. No, he's, he's going to get some milk because Terry drank all the milk. We've got to spend some time a little bit later. Uh, there's some toolbox talks we're going to do with drivers and... I'm going to write down a couple of notes and then Terry's going to go through with it. I'm just going to oversee it just so we can keep a record of it, you know, just so we can refresh the lads. And Terry and I are going to do a bit of catch up. While Terry was away, I did my best to not make him come back to a pile of work. Like I priced a lot of jobs and I did a, a lot of stuff so he, he didn't come back and be overwhelmed. But I didn't communicate that properly and Terry went and priced some jobs and people are saying there's inconsistency in my pricing. Come back in it. Don't run away. Bro. I'll be back. He'll be back. What else would I rather be doing on a Saturday morning? Is that, bro, exactly. What else would Terry rather be doing on a Saturday morning? I'll be there in it. I'll be sitting at your desk doing your job in the hours. Quickly went and did some sw swimming this morning. I set myself a target of losing two kilos a week. I've stuck to my diet other than my one uh, cheat meal a week on a Saturday. And this week I only lost one and a bit. So in total, I've lost seven and a bit kilos, which is just over, it's 1.1 stone. I'm just gonna carry on with the diet and do as best I can. I quickly went swimming this morning, but my fitness is getting better because I did um, thousand odd meters in 28 minutes. And for the first time, I didn't stop when I was swimming. Well, I did stop when I turned around because the swimming pool's not deep enough. And if I try to do that flipping around thing, I'm gonna bust my head. I don't normally swim and just keep going and keep going, so. 
something is working. Reversing back into the yard now, I'm probably gonna do all my own filming today because uh, Will is off, uh, Jay is off, Friday's by himself, and weekly episode 96 is a big old episode. I think it's over an hour. So, let's see how we're getting on. Is it your first day? Is it my first? Oh, so you did get milk, yeah? I got milk, yeah, but now yeah. I can't park. What are you talking about? All right. Yeah, just leave it there, innit? it? Got plenty of room. We've got three acres here. Stop crying, man. Terry, how are we getting on that list for Monday? Stop. Terry's doing the list for Monday, and I said, do you want a hand? And he went, no, 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 I'm all right. And apparently, <laughs> a couple people said a couple things about me running the lorries. Yeah, yeah I'm all right. I, I don't really care. Like, cool, in it? All I know is them lorries were running, and I know what they were making a day in it. So I don't know if the drivers want to bury me, cool, in it? Like, I, just, I don't. It, it, You're comfortable enough. In your I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable in my own. I'm comfortable enough in my own skin in running lorries that if drivers want to bury me, a man say I was flapping. Like, cool, in it? <laughs> Go! Cool. All right, I was flapping because I wanted him to be as efficient as possible. And I'm just trying to see what Terry's doing, not because he needs my help, but because when he ducks us, us, all of you watching as well, when he ducks us on Thursday... Don't try and bring me into this. When, so when, the YouTube army get on... No, the YouTube up. army. <laughs> when, when he ducks us on Thursday to go and get his personality amputated... <laughs> yeah. I'm going to need to do the lorries again, or sorry, help Chimek. And if I don't know what's going on or none of the jobs, then I'm going to like need a day to find my feet. So I'm just trying to find out what's going on. And he's going on like I'm interfering for no reason. Oh, now all the sick work that's on. I got that in it, Tell. You did it the minute. Yeah, I did it the minute. I did it the minute. That means a yes. The way it is yeah. at the moment. The way it is at the moment. So Saturday, we're at the yard. Back in March, it was all mine though. Terry said back in March, it was all his work. No, Terry did bring some jobs in. Yeah. He did, but now it's all my work. <laughs> oh, now we still need a salesman. <laughs> it's me and Terry getting all the work at the moment, but we do need a salesman. Terry will be in here early tomorrow morning. I've got play. Oh, Terry's popping off. Hello, Ashville. Always plenty to do here. It's Terry. The more we can get done now, the less we do on Monday, He's and the more prepared we are. And the hustle continues. Um, Sky have invited me to a premiere on Monday and that's the prequel to Game of Thrones which is called House of the Dragon. Now, I'm a massive Game of Thrones fan so it's a real honour. But check my cupboard and I didn't really have anything suitable to wear. Tell the truth, I probably would have had something to wear had I not put on the amount of weight that I've put on which is clearly visible for all to see but it is what it is. For my shoulder operation and after, I didn't train for a very long time and my appetite didn't suppress so I piled on weight and weight and weight and weight. Um, with the media stuff I've got coming up, um, I took a look at what was going on and I took a look at my health because that's the first and foremost most important thing and carrying around that amount of weight isn't healthy it's not good for your car it's like carrying around a 20 kilo plate the entire time um, you know I'm always trying to do my best I've got to have the best spec lorries I've got to have the best machines I've got to have the yard with the train coming in I've got to have the primary material we have to make a new record for the amount we're doing uh, we need to have the best building jobs and when we've got the building jobs we've got to deliver I want the client's reaction I want them to be happy I want to say yes I did that work I want a fantastic portfolio even if it's a small job I've got to try and do the best so with the media things I've got coming up I can't be doing the best at everything I'm doing but then not trying to do the best with myself and presenting the, ve the best version of myself. So next week, Monday, um, back to back with meetings. Then I've got the premiere in the evening. And then on uh, Tuesday, I have a very important meeting in the morning. Then after that, I'm going to a film, not film, sorry, eh, giving it away. I'm going to another shoot in the afternoon and then I'm leaving that and then I'm going to QPR. On Wednesday, I have a meeting at some media offices. Again, I'm sorry, I can't tell you, but I will. And then on Thursday, Terry's going for his hip replacement, so I'm gonna spend more time in the yard again. So I'm using the days that Terry's been back to get everything I can possibly done and sort out all the media stuff I'm doing. And um, hopefully I can close all those deals, but I'm gonna level with you. You know there's been times when I've been moaning and 
yeah, I'm, I'm not moaning. I'm sorry. There have been times when I've been telling you this is going wrong, that's being wrong. I'm just being honest. That's what was happening. I cannot lie. Um, I am sharing my journey with you. But now, I keep saying this, we've turned a corner and things are falling into place and I have to make sure that I act accordingly and I keep pushing and I do the best I possibly can because that's all I can really do. And that's it for Asheville Weekly episode 97. Click here for the Asheville. What am I talking about? That's not the end. I'm going to the basketball tomorrow as well. What am I talking about? That's not it. That's not it for Asheville Weekly episode 97. We're still going to keep going. We've got the whole of tomorrow to get through as well. Yeah, we're including Sunday. Sorry. Sorry. Catch you tomorrow morning. It's Sunday. And this is like the encore. Because I thought it was finished yesterday, but it's not. You know when James Brown like disappears off stage and then he comes back out and throws the cape off? I had planned for this to be like the encore, but I trained legs this morning. I feel like I strained the inside of my quad, man. I'm gonna try and stretch it out and um, see if I can play, but it's like it's niggling. It's even hurting when I'm driving. Um, so hopefully I can manage to shake it off and play, but I don't want to damage myself because there's a lot of things coming up. So, so I have collected the sticker man. Yo. But yeah, then, man. Well done. I'm trying to hit my head. Well, I don't want to put my arm in, but look at the size of your arm compared to mine. I need three arms. And imagine this, yeah? I'm going to collect the sticker man from his mum's. The man sends me the address. Like, I ain't known man for 20 years. Like, I don't know where his mum's is. <laughs> Traffic's a little bad. What we're going to do is try and sneak in a little bit of food before, um, before we get to the game. And what are you saying? about this Lakers top in black and yellow in the Asheville colours. I've been saving this. To, to, to be honest, it didn't fit me for a while. But where man trimmed down a little bit, it's fitting now. Black and yellow Lakers top. When I saw it, I said, yes, yes, that will be mine. So for the basketball, we stop for something to eat. We've got the sticker man. We've got my mate Craig, you've seen. We've got Tezza. Tezza's joined us for something to eat. And we've got the big man, Spud me. Yes, we're gonna have something to eat quickly. I haven't eaten since I trained earlier and then we're going to head over to the basketball but um, Yanni got all the timings wrong and booked the table for this time it's completely wrong and now we're going to be late to the basketball we are all going to fit into this Terry's definitely going to need a hip replacement after this boy <laughs> so we're all fit we're all going back to the basketball do you know what? It doesn't feel like the car's loaded at all, you know? Mate, me and Terry are light. I don't, I don't want to say me that. And, <laughs> me and Terry are light. Yeah, so there's me about me. Terry. Me and Terry. There's a, there's a hundred of stone of man in this car. Oh, let, let's do this. Right, Daniel's 21. <laughs> oh, you ready to train up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this man was meant to come and train me at the yard and he didn't turn up. He jumped on the hype. Yeah, I'm going to teach Daniel. This man didn't come and give me no basketball lessons and here we are on the day. Luckily for all of them and unluckily for me, I've got a quad strain in it. Otherwise, otherwise I'd have been dunking on man. I'd have, I'd have been dunking. I'd have been dunking on man, I'm telling you. Can I have your attention, please? First of all, an extremely humble, heartfelt thank you. Um, you guys have dedicated your time, support, and supporting on the socials. Shall I start again for you? <laughs> <laughs> That's in Asheville. Worried about the brand. Sincere thank you for all of you dedicating your time, um, your support, your social media support uh, to be here, support the Who's Got Game Sport Foundation. It's amazing. You guys look great in the branding. Um, and we're just here to have some fun, have a good time. So we're going to chill here for a minute because we need to alter the teams a bit. We've had a. F Listen. Who wants the team? Nobody wants this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants shoot, this guy's been shooting bricks all day. Okay. <laughs> this guy just got changed. <laughs> For all of you guys, I have a gift. So I have some Beast by Dre headphones or some sneakers. 
So I'm going to bless you guys for, for blessing me. So, so appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Have you got Have you got Sash 14? I've got you. I've got you. So, one, two, three. has continued but I've got commitments in the morning that like I have things to do I can't be out late and be, and be reckless I've got to put my priorities first and that's it for Asheville Weekly episode 97 click here for the Asheville website click here to subscribe to our channel click here to see an Asheville video you may not have seen before and click here for last week's episode which was number 96